Hello everyone. I'll be teaching today from the book of Genesis chapter 2 and verse 21. We see that the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam and he slept. The reason why God put Adam in a deep sleep is because he did not want Adam to have the mystery of the church. Because before God created the woman, Adam was awake. He was not in a sleep. So Adam knew the Garden of Eden. He didn't. God did not put him in a deep sleep until God was going to take the rib and create the woman, which was the church. In the book of Romans chapter 11 and verse 8, it says, God hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear. So God gave Adam the spirit of slumber. And his wife also was in this sleep too. Read the book of Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 9 and 10 and Matthew chapter 13 and verse 14 and 15 and also the book of uh, Genesis chapter 2 verse 22, 23 and 24 uh, where God put him in a deep sleep and they are the church. This is establishing them as the church. And also read the book of Matthew chapter 19 verse 4, 5 and 6. In Ephesians chapter 5, verse 27, all the way to verse 32, they're going to talk about the church. Verse 32 says, this is a great mystery. What I tell you, church? God put that deep sleep on them because he did not want them to know the mystery of the church. Because when God put the sleep on Adam, God knew what Adam was going to do before Adam did it. He knew the man and the woman was going to sin. And he knew that when they left that garden, he didn't want them going out into the world with the mystery of the church because the devil would then have that mystery, that great mystery of the church. And we see that Ephesians chapter 5 and 32 says, This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 7, 8, and 9, says, we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom, which God ordained before the world unto the glory of God, unto our glory. So watch this church, watch verse 8, which none of the princes of this world knew, for had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. So if Adam would have left that garden with the knowledge of the mystery of the church after Adam had sinned, then the devil and his angels never would have crucified Jesus because they would know that crucifying Jesus would have been what God wanted him to do, that Jesus came to die for his church and to establish the church. And the devil did not want that. The devil would have stopped that. So if the devil had that knowledge that what Christ would have been after uh, he was crucified that he would have rose from the grave on the third day and became the temple of God The devil never would have crucified him. He would have left Jesus alone And that's why Adam had the spirit of slumber because God could not have that mystery coming out into the world We see in the book of Genesis chapter 3 and verse 7 It says after they had sinned their eyes are both open so that tells us that the woman's eyes was also closed, that she did not know the mystery of the church. John chapter 9, verse 30, and verse 40, and verse 41. And in verse 40, uh, some of the Pharisees, which were with Jesus, heard these words and said unto Jesus, Are we blind? And remember, Adam was blind. Him and his wife were both blind. They did not understand. They did not comprehend anything. Jesus tells the, the Pharisees in verse 41, that is John 9 in verse 41, Jesus says unto them, If you were blind, you should have no sin. Adam and his wife were both blind and they did not have any sin. Jesus said, But now you say, We see, therefore your sin remains. When Adam and his wife were blind, they had not sinned, but as soon as they sinned, their eyes were both opened. And Jesus said that you're, now you say, we see, therefore your sin remains. In the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 9, it says, 
Nope. I has not seen nor ear heard. Because remember, God shut their eyes and their he closed their eyes and he closed their ears. Adam and his wife. So God is telling us, I has not seen nor ear heard, neither has entered into the hearts of man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. Remember, Genesis 3 and 21, Adam was in a deep sleep. After his eyes were open, God judged them both and drove them both from the Garden of Eden in Genesis 3 and verse 24. And God placed at the garden the two angels and the flaming sword to keep the way of the tree of life because he knew Adam and his wife knew where the gate was and they had to guard the tree of life. I hope and pray that you like that revelation knowledge on the spirit of slumber. I'm always blessed to be able to share uh, what the Holy Spirit reveals to me. God bless you, my dear precious friends.